Come on. Oh, look at that! First feed, no problem. You just saw the fastest striking snake, venomous snake, on the planet just strike right now. Look at that, she is so pretty. Is that not the coolest crocodilian you've ever seen? Oh, oh, she's trying to eat my fingers. The most dangerous snake in the Serpentarium. Hey, buddy. Look how big he is. Oh, and he's striking all over the place. Look how big this guy is. Up, up. Check this out. How cool is that? Dips in and out of the columns like it's nothing. Ooh, 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 he's letting me know he wants to strike. So he's puffing his neck right now. Oh, he's hissing at me. Ooh. Well, 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 looks like I've got my morning coffee. Psych, it's nighttime. Late night snake cleaning with Chandler's Wildlife. Let's do this, baby. Welcome back to the show, my beautiful. That's an awkward angle. Welcome back to my wildlife. I'm currently hanging out in, uh, well, my house, not the Serpentarium. And, 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 what are those kids doing out there? Sorry, sorry, excuse my message. What are you doing? What is it? It's just a false alarm, probably a fox. What are you doing, my boy? What, what, you missed the bitch. I know, is this dog bugging you? This dog's just running around being crazy. I know, he's crazy. You wanna go flying later? Yeah, damn right, we'll go fly later. Barra, what are you doing? What is it? What could it possibly be? What could it possibly be? Come on. Who's the cutest dog around? Oh, you are. For anybody wondering what Barra is, over here, oh my gosh, she's knocking down everything. I'm going inside. You're too loud. Good job being a guard dog. <laughs> For anyone wondering what Barra is, Barra is a Caucasian mountain shepherd, also nicknamed the wolf killer. It's a dog used to actually guard sheep herds from wolves. They'll kill wolves and they'll defend off against bears. And also they're used uh, and still used to this day for Russian prisons. So, man, if I was in a Russian prison, I would not want a full-grown Caucasian mountain shepherd going after me. Males can get upwards to 200 pounds. She's a little lady, so she's gonna be probably around like 140 or 160, but she's still gonna be a beast. I'm gonna make my Cuban coffee, and then we're gonna get to it. I got some snakes to clean. And I know what you guys are thinking. Chandler, you shouldn't be doing venomous by yourself. It's dangerous. What if you get it? Yes, you were totally right. I should have somebody with me, of course, but I have lots of stuff to clean, so I'm gonna get to it, because it's what I've been doing my whole life. Anyways, look at this beautiful people. I'm gonna show you a little secret, a little, a little Florida band secret. Everyone thinks that Floridians are just smoking crack out here and, and being crazy. Well, the reality of it is, it's not crack they're smoking. It's uh, it's Cuban coffee. It's a lot of it with lots of sugar in it, lots of diabetes. Ooh, I put way too much of that in there. I need to put some leche. For those of my non-speaking Spanish speakers out there, it means more milk, please. Hey, these kids are driving me crazy. Barra, what are you doing? Stop squaring off with the boy. Who town your eyes out? Yeah, that's damn right. Back to business. God, I need to put on a belt. My Glock is bringing my pants down right now. Anyways, so we got our Cuban coffee. We're good to go. Let me get this stirred up. Oh, wait, why am I making a coffee tutorial video? I'll see you guys when I get my coffee ready. Wow. Whoa. Let's get to it. We're going to go clean these snakes. We're going to go check up on everyone, do some deep cleans, get a close-up look on some snakes you guys haven't seen in a while. And you know what? You know what? We're going to fly Bagoy at the end of all this. Oh, you want to see one of Bagoy's toys? It was a goat. <laughs> and uh, he, he just took its face off. Very nice. Very nice. I totally forgot. I started defrosting these chunks of python that I need to put Panacur in. Panacur is the treatment that I use for the king cobras to deworm them. Do it about like once or twice a year. We're already, actually it's the last portion of the treatment, so this would be the last two portions of treatment they get. I do about three rounds over a period of like three weeks. All right, beautiful people, it's time to inject our little bit of medicine. Panic here, right into that python. Right there, that's, that's very good. Ooh, looks like the, the liver is dripping right there, that's nice. Let me put all that treatment right in there, that delicious panic here. Just kidding, don't drink this stuff, kids, unless you're a cow and you have worms. All right, let me get the other chunk ready i'm gonna get some more panic here in my needle there we go if you guys are oh oh making mistakes just happy little mistakes all right let's get that other piece injected with the panic here look just like that i'm injecting a chunk of seven Burmese python why they're invasive they don't belong here in florida and they make a great food source for a king cobra we're gonna put it in our little to-go bag to go to the serpentarium <laughs> fun times and uh Let's not forget this little mouse for the death adder. All right, beautiful people, I'll see you in the Serpentarium. 
Diddly, 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 do. All right, beautiful people, off into the darkness we go. Oh, actually, the iPhone makes it look not as dark. In real life, it's really dark and spooky, but that's okay. <laughs> that's why I moved to the middle of nowhere, because this is where you should keep crocodiles. <laughs> Speaking of crocodiles, look at my beautiful babies over here. Let's go check up on everyone over here. I got to show you my, my sweet green basilisk. Actually, no, these are brown basilisks. My sweet brown basilisks. Oh, <laughs> The first lizard to look at, it's not a brown basilisk. So we got a bunch of these little brown basilisks all over the place. They're invasive from South America. And they're just all over the fencing. Look, the big guy right here. They're all babies right now. When they're bigger, they get these big crests. They're also known as Jesus lizards because they run across the water. Look, I got like a whole farm right here. Oh my, oh my little Jesus lizards. Oh my little Jesuses. Well, let's see what's really in here. The crocodiles. Oh, right there, croc. Beautiful little American crocodile. This is Bobby. Bobby, what are you doing? What are you doing, Bobby? Don't bite my thumb. Be a good crocodile. He's such a cool crocodile. This will be Ziggy's boyfriend when he's big enough and can't can't be turned into a little snack because Ziggy's way bigger right now. Speaking of Ziggy. Hey, baby, what are you doing? What's going on, baby? Oh, 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 I don't have any food. I fed you so much today. How are you still hungry? How are you still hungry? I f look how big her belly is right now. Look how big her belly is. Literally, there's a chick in her belly. There's like freaking two handfuls of shrimp. She's become such a beast. Look how beautiful she is. That is a gnarly looking crocodile. I love this croc so much. She's so cool. All right, check this out. We got the broad snout. What's going on, broad snout? beautiful bridge at the broad snout. What are you doing? She's really active to the food call. I'm not even gonna call her because she'll just hit the top of the cage. Look at her, she's so beautiful. You can see her colors are starting to change now that she's in this gorgeous white tub. Look at that, she is so pretty. Is that not the coolest crocodilian you've ever seen? Oh, oh, she's trying to eat my fingers. What are you doing? Don't eat my fingers. Look at her, such a beautiful animal back up slowly and then we got the salty right here beautiful little saltwater crocodile this is my original saltwater crocodile that i got beautiful little lady she's got a belly full of shrimp right now check this out oh look at that beautiful saltwater crocodile i'll have to show you anakin the other one let me go fly bagoy later and of course my gorgeous smooth front caiman i have raised from a little gecko what's up what are you doing? Little beast. Can I have to upgrade that setup soon? Maybe do like one of these six footers. Oh, let's get another shot of Bridget real quick. What are you doing, girl? What's up, Bridget? She is so pretty. She's definitely getting more vibrant after being in this white tub. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, check out the changing the color of crocodilians by painting the tub video we did. Came out like two weeks ago or so. Really cool video where you change the environment of the crocodilian and make it change color to adapt. Look how beautiful she's looking. I mean, look at that. That is so cool. What are you hissing? What are you hissing for? All right, let's let them be. Let me close this up and I'll see you guys at the Serpentarium. All right, beautiful people, we're at the snake house. Let's get this closed up and make sure it's nice and secure and get this mulch out of here. Uh, all right. Oh, check it out when the lights are off. This is pretty cool. I can't wait for the Serpentarium to have lit up bioactive enclosures all around the walls, big setups in the back lit up, and we can enjoy the atmosphere of the nighttime. All right, let me get that light back on. Oh, Kevin, what are you doing outside your enclosure? <coughs> oh, oh, my mouse. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you for uh, delivering that mouse for me. But uh, no free handling. Get off of me. Anyways, beautiful people, let's get this mouse prepared for the death adder. The death adder, I have not fed yet, so this will be interesting. Look at this, at night all the snakes get real active. Indian cobra's moving around, eastern diamondbacks are moving around. We're gonna give them another treatment of Nyx, one last treatment actually, and uh, then we'll put all the mulch back because they're getting treated for mites. We have the Bushmaster hanging out right there. Look at this fly river turtle. Finita, oh she was sleeping, sorry Finita. What are you doing Finita? Oh, you gonna come say hello? You gonna come say hello? Hello, Finita. All right, so let's see. We got our pythons that we're gonna feed off. We're gonna make sure we do that and make sure that this death adder 
Gets at least an offering. So let's see uh, that. Ooh, ooh, that made a funny smack. Beautiful death adder. Look at that. Common death adder. Beautiful red one. This would be like a Sydney locale, Sydney, Australia. Beautiful captive born animal from Europe. Look at this. That snake is out of this world. Look at that thing. This is supposed to be a male. We named him Paul. Paul the death adder. All right, let's see. Where are my forceps? Uh, da, 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 Bingo! Here we go. All right, so let's try and get this death adder to eat this mouse. We'll see how this goes. So even though it looks just like, like, like a little viper, this is actually an Elapidae family member. So it does not have heat pits. Oh, oh it looks interested actually. This is good. Oh, look! It, it actually looks pretty interested. Come on. Oh, look at that! First feed, no problem! You just saw the fastest striking snake, venomous snake, on the planet just strike right now. And probably the fastest striking snake of them all. Wow, that's awesome. First time actually offering this beautiful death at her meal, and he smashes the mouse. That is just too cool. That makes me so happy to know that this guy's gonna eat no problem. I can't wait to get them in a beautiful rocky terrain setup like the Outback or like the side of Sydney with beautiful red rocks. Maybe some spinifex. All right, lots of cleaning to do. We'll get back to them in a second. Let's close this up, make sure it's nice and secure. Let's take this little guy and put him over here for now before we go put him in a vision cage. Look at him. That is just so cool. Look at these beautiful green mambas. All right. As you can see, there's only one green mamba in here because some of these snakes are by themselves right now for feeding. So, Eastern Dimeback is by itself, Green Mamba's by itself, Monocled Cobra's by itself. Those guys are in those boxes. We're going to put them back after we're done cleaning. And uh, let's, ooh, we're going to get into it right after I show you this beautiful girl. Oh my goodness. The pu -pu -pu -pu. The pu -pu 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 -pu. The pu -pu 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 The Bushmaster. This is the crown jewel of vipers, the black-headed Bushmaster and the South American Bushmaster. The South American Bushmaster gets to be the longest, largest viper on the planet, up to 12 feet long. And she's a female, so she will become a behemoth one day. And that's where, when she was a little baby. When she was just a little tiny baby. I need to stop getting distracted. I got some snakes to clean. Let's actually get these medicated chunks of python put into the king cover enclosures. We'll see what happens with that. Kevin's definitely sleeping right now. So we'll probably just leave it right at the edge. And if he wants to come, he can come get it. Oh, it looks like Kevin woke up. He seems to be slightly interested. We'll see if he comes over. Oh, yeah, he wants it. Look at that. Come on, come on. Nice and easy. Have a little bit of python. Oh, good boy. Munching down on a big old chunk of python. And the reason we're doing it in little chunks instead of a whole entire python is just so we can medicate him properly over a period of three times in three weeks. And if we did whole pythons, we would just make this guy obese. So we gotta do little chunks. So it's, it's well proportioned and he doesn't get too fat because the last thing you wanna do is overfeed a reptile and make it grow fatty tissue around its organs. And then you shorten its life. So you gotta watch out. Just like people, dogs, all animals, you can't overfeed them and make them fat. So you gotta watch out for that. He's chowing down. He's loving it right now. All right, beautiful people. I'm going to close this up. Get a lock on that. Secure. All right. No. Oh, Justina's ready. She's like, I already know what's going on. You got me something delicious. Or you want to fight. <laughs> that, that's the look she's giving me. She's like, you want to you, you wanna, you wanna take me out? Huh? You want to do a cleaning? I dare you. Oh, difficulties. <laughs> Just wait one second. <laughs> Your order will be out in one moment. Come on. Come on. <laughs> hey, Justina, you want this? You want this? Oh, oh, she's all over the place. Just oh, she just bit her own tail. She is not messing around right now. I'm gonna stay still so she doesn't rush me. Uh oh, you stay over there. I'm not messing with you. Oh, goodness gracious, <laughs> she is in quite the mood right now. She's like, what's this up to? Oh, she's biting the cage. I'm just watching out for her to shoot out. There we go, bite the food. Good girl. Beast, look at her. All right, she's got her food. 
the way she hisses and growls, it's like dealing with a velociraptor listening to this. You hear that growl? That is just so cool. All right, while she destroys that little piece of python right there, and Kevin destroys his little piece, he's munching away, he's almost done. He's like halfway on it right now. All right, we're gonna start cleaning stuff. We're gonna start putting some of these snakes back together and start deep cleaning some of these enclosures. Oh, look at this, the death adder. Finishing up the meal. Oh my God, let me get a better shot. Look at that, Paul the death adder, eating like a champ. Look how beautiful he is. Look at the whites on his lips. You got great looking lips, Paul. You, you're looking beautiful. All right, guys, we gotta free up this can right here. So let's open this up, grab the snake hook. We're gonna put this Eastern Diamond back back. <laughs> you like what I did there, Eastern Diamond back back? <laughs> I'm not a rapper. All right, let's get that open. And we are gonna be putting substrate in with these dime bags, but I need the can free right now. We're not gonna do these dime bags right now because after they go poo poo, I'm gonna treat them one more time with Nyx. There we go. And that's for mites. And they're looking good. Eating with no problem. There we go. Beautiful Eastern dime back rattlesnakes. They have paper towel, but they smushed it around. And that's just until we know for sure they're done with the mites. Oh, look at you. We're gonna have to clean you very soon. Beautiful Indian cobra. Look at these colors. Such an awesome looking snake. Very majestic. You, sir. Majestic. Okay, next. Let's get this Indian cobra taken care of. Looks like there's quite a few spicy meatballs in there. And I'd like for that to be much cleaner. There we go. Unlocked. Not secure. All right. Nice and easy. We're gonna make the snake just want to go in just like this just like this we're gonna convince the snake this is a small estate for sale so he investigates and thinks about oh kevin no that is not food you see how kevin just came out he's like let me have a piece oh and justina's like let me get a piece too all right let's just make sure this indian cover it's nice and secure oh kevin dude he literally just lunged he's got a mouthful of python guts and blood dude all right, it's dirty in here. I'm gonna start spot cleaning, or I might just take all this mulch out. I'll see you guys in a split. All right, beautiful people. We got the cage nice and cleaned up throughout all those spicy meatballs, and there's some fresh water. Gonna get this glass clean, and we're gonna get this cobra back where it belongs. And no, Justina, you can't have the cobras. Oh, okay, okay. No, you can't have this cobra. Is this, okay. Magnificent! Get out of here. So we got our hook ready. Let's pop this open, take that lid off. Let's get this beautiful Indian cover back nice and smooth. Ooh, 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 sorry. There we go. Nice and easy. There you go. Look how beautiful that cover is. <sighs> Top four most responsible for bites throughout India. The Indian Cobra Nayanaya Classic Cobra. Also known as the Spectacle Cobra because of a pair of spectacles in the back of that hood. Beautiful, beautiful snake. Close this up, there we go, locked and secure. All right, my beautiful pedestrians and, and pescatarians and uh, 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 pest, pest control operatives, I don't know. Let me get this lock taken care of. We're gonna put the green mamba back with its cage mate. There we go, enclosure's ready to go. Green mamba's up there in the corner, the cage mate. We're gonna go get the other one from this box. Let's see how the mamba's doing. Had a nice meal that I put in there for him. There we go, look at that beautiful green mamba. Love these snakes, this is such a cool species of snake. Gift from Dingo Dinkleman, straight from South Africa. This is an Eastern green mamba, which isn't as venomous as the black mamba, but still a very potent neurotoxic snake, which classifies as a snake that can put you in a coffin. So you gotta respect them and definitely have your wits about. So let's make sure you get them right into the enclosure. Look at that, beautiful green fat meal on its belly and eventually we'll get some nice tall bioactive setups that these guys can enjoy and climb through and have some nice greenery right now it's just a basic kind of behind the scenes zoological setup locked and secure there we go beautiful green mama. what are you doing huh look at that they are so good at climbing very arboreal species of snake living up in the trees, living their life, eating birds, chameleons, and loving to get into houses for rodents. So that's why they end up on people's porches and, oh, 
I lose my words when I look at this snake. All right, I think next, may I say it, King Tut. It's time to clean King Tut, the most dangerous snake in the Serpentarium. Hey, buddy. This is the same snake believed to be used by Cleopatra for suicide. Really crazy piece of history right there. All right, we're gonna get this enclosure unlocked and use the long snake hook. I might just prop the camera up on a vision cage so you guys can get a full shot and I can just focus on him. He is such a beast. He really does not play any games. Let's get him out. Let's do this. King Tut. Oh man. Oh, he scares me so much. I get so tense. All right, let's get this snake out. Let's get Mr. King Tut out. Oh, out of his kingdom. Come on, buddy. He's already flying out of the cage. Let me get part of his body. Oh, you beast. Here we go. King Tut coming at you. Look how big he is. Oh, and he's striking all over the place. Look how big this guy is. You guys remember that episode of Steve Irwin when he comes up on an Egyptian cobra and it's so cranky he wouldn't stop lunging at him and it was climbing up the tree and it was hooding up at him and falling down? This is the same locality of Egyptian cobra that Steve Irwin was filming with just by looking at the colors. So go watch that episode and look at this snake and look at that one. I gotta watch out where I point that cloaca. He's gonna, he's gonna put a bunch of musk in my mouth. All right, let's get him into that container. Wow, he's got to be like six feet or six plus feet right now. Holy smokes, he's a beast. All right, his enclosure's really dirty. High five, everyone. We did it. King Tut is secured. Acid contained. All right, let's clean his enclosure. All right, beautiful people. We've got a new hide in there. I replaced his old one because it was too small. We got him a bigger water dish. So nice and clean mulch, deep clean. We got all that nasty stuff out of there. So let's get King Tut back to his kingdom. He is such a beast now. Let's see if I can come through right on my hook. There we go. Thank you for your cooperation, King Tut. Beast, look at him. He's gonna go right home, look at this. Go home, King Tut. Good boy, go home. <laughs> that's not your home. That, that's not your home, buddy. Oh, oh boy, all right. Come here, King Tut. There we go, crikey, look at this. Guy, he's so big. Ah, love this snake so much. He's become such a beast. I got him at like two feet long, and now he's a monster. His parents were literally like nine feet long. Locked and secure. We're good to go. Let's see. Let's see. What else are we going to clean? Look at that picture. <laughs> That's a great representation of that snake's attitude or a uh, spunky personality. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to put you right at the mouth of this cage. So that Bufoyan black snake's going to go right over you. Let's see what the snake's doing. What are you doing, cutie? Easy going. Ooh, you're all over the place. Come on. Look at this beast of a snake. Wow. Papuyan black snake. No joke. Very rare to see here in America. Look at that. Just because people don't keep them. They're such a bizarre snake. All right, let's get this beautiful animal right back in the enclosure. Right behind the iPhone, actually. What are you doing? What are you doing? There we go. Locked and secured, nice and clean. Let me unlock this enclosure. Oh, right here, ready to go. Look at the snake. Look, beautiful albino monocled cobra. Very cranky snake. All right. Oh, hello. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me get that body. Look at this. Come here. Beautiful albino monocled cobra. And there is a meal in that belly, so I want to be very gentle with this snake. You say hello? Yes, yes. Ooh, cranky, cranky. All right, we're gonna get you right into the can. Asset contained. You know, I just love cleaning enclosures. I have a passion for it. I wanna film it. It's not just a duty, but it's an art. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're cooking with peanut oil right here. Hopefully you're not allergic to peanuts, if you know what I'm saying. Come on. Ooh, look at all that shed. That's from the bigger monocled cobra. That's from Big Bertha. Ooh, it's, it's even got some poop on it. Score. I like to use the scoop method sometimes. I like to just straight up use my bare hands. Only problem drawback with that is getting the poop under your fingernails. Pretty gross. Yeah. Oof, nothing like that dust. All right, guys, I'm gonna spray this a little bit. Get out the little doo-doo marks. I'll see you guys in a split. 
All right, my beautiful people, it's time to put back the snakes. Enclosure's nice and clean. So what I'm gonna do is take out Big Bertha, put her in first, and then put the albino monocled cobra back. So let's get her out. Ooh, relax, relax. Beautiful, big monocled cobra. She is a beast, look at her. And I can get nice and close, so. I just have the iPhone propped up on the can. No fingers holding the phone, no risk. Look at that, beautiful monocled cobra. She's always had a little bit of rub, a little scarring from rub in the past, but uh, she's looking pretty good besides that. She's a really healthy, thick, thick, thick monocled cobra. Look at that beautiful snake. I'm gonna put her right into the enclosure, and then we're gonna take out that spicy little tamale. Hello. Okay. Oh, okay, very, very snappy, I see. Gorgeous albino muffled cobra. What's up, dude? All right. <laughs> Gotta be very careful. These snakes are drop for drop. More potent than a king cobra. Nice clean enclosure now. Fresh mulch. Hides nice and clean. Fresh water. Clean glass. It's always good to have clean glass. I can't wait for all these bioactive setups and have all this crystal clear glass, have all these beautiful plants, frogs, and snakes, all living together in a little ecosystem. You know what, guys? We're gonna clean the Gila monsters. I really think that the Gila monsters could use a good cleaning. So let me just prop that up. Gonna get all new mulch, gonna make it look real beautiful in there. Nice. Oh, oh, there goes my hook. I don't need it, I don't need it too. Some fat lizards. What are, what are these fat lizards gonna do, bite me? Yeah, maybe they'll bite me, so I, I better be careful. I don't know why I'm talking like this. All right, Gila monsters are fat and happy. I actually have just one in here at the moment. Let me go grab that other one in a second. I'll take out this little female for you guys, so you can check her out. Oh my God, she's so fat. You eat so much food, good for you. Look at her, little nugget. Beautiful Gila monster venomous lizard. They have venom glands on their bottom jaw. And when they bite down our prime, the venom seeps through the teeth and just goes into the wounds. But usually they're not eating crazy things. They're not chasing down anything. These guys are pretty slow moving animals. And what they'll do is they'll just go into little crevasses in the rocks in Arizona and whatnot in the Western United States. And they'll be looking for little, little pinky rats. Maybe they'll be looking for something like a pack rat nest. They'll be looking for quail eggs, even baby quail little chicks, because they love to eat little infant animals. Ooh. Gila monster. But are they monsters? No. They're supposed to be in our ecosystems. They help regulate all the animals so we don't get overpopulated with little pack rats and other rodents of the desert. Oh my god. Hello, you're waving. Hello. This is my beautiful little female. And look, she's shedding, so she's looking really beautiful. Look at that, that beautiful armored skin. They are just so cool. Let's get this little Gila monster into the bucket over here. And then uh, I'll get I'll get this nice and cleaned up, and then I'll show you the boyfriend. He's looking real tubby right now. He's got a belly full of food. This is a good cleaning. This is the kind of clean you clean, and you say, I'm proud. Look at this. Look how clean everything is. Hey, pretty lady. Ooh, wow, her colors are amazing on this iPhone. But look at her boyfriend. Ooh, look at this beautiful, handsome, Fat. <laughs> he's not that fat, but he is a little tubby. He just ate today, so he's got a full meal, full of little rat pinks and whatnot. Look at his girlfriend. Look at them. They're just stunning lizards. So cute. So cute. Big, beautiful, venomous lizards. All right, we're going to put this beautiful boy back where he belongs. There you go, buddy. I love you. I love you, buddy. And you. Hey, pretty. Oh, gotcha. Oh, tubby girl, look at you, so cute. I want to give you a kiss. All right, you guys enjoy yourselves. Nice, clean enclosure. Check this out, they're, they're having fun here. Look at this, they're like, oh, so soft. Oh, so nice. I'm gonna go over here now. I'd like to use Aspen, it's drier. It's better for these desert species. But what I got right now is just Cypress, so we'll just deal with that. Beautiful boy. Secure and adorable. Okie dokie, it's time to deal with one of the most dangerous snakes in the collection. Everyone, pay close attention. This is the pygmy rattlesnake, the world's smallest species of rattlesnake. But the truth is, its scientific name doesn't have crotalis in it. So is it really a rattlesnake? It has a rattle on its tail, looks like one, I say so. Look at that beautiful snake. Would not want to take a bite off a snake like this. Really, really painful from what I've heard. 
Can you hear that rattle? That little buzz? That is so cool. I'm gonna go nice and easy, but I'm gonna drop this beautiful rattlesnake. I got this little guy when he was a little tiny worm, basically. And I've been raising him for about three years now. And he's about the right size for a pygmy. They do have heat pits, so they're very accurate with their bite, and you gotta be very careful. Ooh, ooh, he's turning on me. Look how beautiful he is. Native to Florida, so you have the world's smallest rattlesnake in Florida, the pygmy rattlesnake, and then you have the eastern diamondback rattlesnake, which is the world's largest rattler, getting over eight feet long. Beast of a rattlesnake. His enclosure's really dirty, so I'm just gonna do a deep clean, because this enclosure's very small. It's very easy. And then we're gonna do a couple more deep cleans. We're gonna do a couple more deep cleans. Deep cleans on all these enclosures, all these little ones, South American rattlesnakes right here. I'm gonna get these guys cleaned up. Gonna clean up the puff adders. They look very dirty. Hey, what's going on, dude? All right, beautiful people. We got a clean enclosure, fresh water. We're good to go. So the pygmy rattlesnake can go back into its enclosure. That's not the proper way to say it's pygmy rattlesnake, but I wanna be funny, you know? Oh, look how beautiful you are, my pygmy. Ooh, climb in the can. Don't go, don't do that. Don't fall now. Here we go. There we go. Right into its enclosure. All right. I'll see you later, Samuel Jackson. You're my favorite. Yeah, his name's Samuel Jackson. Ever seen Avengers? Look at that. Look at that little rattle. Isn't that cool? World's smallest rattlesnake. Rattle. Let's so close this up. And put a lock on it, make sure it's nice and secure. Mm, look at that. All right, time to clean the puffy adders. All right, guys, I'm gonna keep a close eye on this enclosure from here on out because this one puff adder actually looks gravid. Look at this, she had a meal today, but look how fat she is. She might have babies in her right now. Wow, that's pretty cool. These are puff adders from Africa, same family as the Kaboon Biker. And they have a nasty, nasty bite. Their venom is very necrotic. It can cause gangrene and just rot you to pieces. So you would not want to take a bite off of the snake. And they get fairly large. They can get around six feet long. The word for a pregnant reptile is gravid. So she would be a gravid female puff adder. Ooh, and what's really interesting about them is they have live birth. They do not have eggs. So you'll get a bunch of clear membranes coming out with these little sacks and then bam, they're gonna bust out already developed cute little puff adders with the ability to take out anything that fits in their mouth. Right off the bat, they've got venom, so you gotta watch out. Let's get this nice and secure and clean out this enclosure. Guys, I was just scooping the poop and you will not believe what I just found. Oh my God, look at this, look at this. That is a puff adder fang. Look at that. That is gnarly. We got ourselves a puff adder fang right here. That's gonna go in the jar with the rest of the fangs. Look at that. Next to my fingernail, boom, puff adder fang. Imagine this snake when it's six feet long, how big those fangs will be. I'm gonna get this fang. Oh, I pricked myself. Just kidding. <laughs> Pranked. We're gonna first take out what looks to be a gravid female. So I wanna go slow, but she's going crazy already. Oh, very touchy, very touchy snake. Oh, gotta watch out for the head. Look at that beautiful, thick, ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me get her more comfortable. There we go. Beautiful puff adder right here. Gorgeous looking snake. And this is a big female. She might have babies. So I wanna be very careful with her. Obviously this is very dangerous to free handle this snake. But I'm just gonna get her right back where she belongs. Right over you guys. There we go. Beautiful, look at that. Brings an enclosure. All right, let me get this other puff adder. There we go. Ooh, what a cool snake. Such an interesting feel they have. Look at this guy. Such a beautiful pink puff adder. This is the male. He might end up being a father soon. Check that out. Beautiful animal. Vitus aritans. A very potent snake. You do not want to get bit by. And that is one of the fastest striking snakes, along with the death adders and the gaboon vipers. Let me get that tail right in there. Look at that beautiful coarse scales. Look at that lock. Boom, secure, clean, clean. Chinese sharp nose vipers next. No joke. Gotta make sure I use the longer hook for this snake. Closure's open. Look, he's just peeking right there. And I 
get this water bowl moved out of the way. All right, we'll try to go nice and smooth. No problems from you, buddy. See those big heat pits at the front of the face? That's why they're such an accurate striker and they can launch their body forward. They are nicknamed the 100 pacer because if you get bit, you're supposed to have 100 steps left. So I wanna make sure I get a good hook on this thing. Oh, looks like it's going opaque. There we go, actually got the snake by the tail. There we go. Oh, looks like this snake is actually going through shin right now. Gotta be very careful. Yeah, the snake is very opaque right now. Definitely going through shed. Look at that beautiful Orchestradon acutus. Also known as the gorgeous 100 pacer viper. Look at that. These guys are found in Vietnam, China, Taiwan. Woo, woo, woo. Southeast Asian snake species. They are just too cool. Look at that. Like a water moccasin from Southeast Asia, but way more dangerous. These guys can just throw their body over like nothing. They come in beige colorations, but this is the, the much more unique coloration where it's real, real black and dark. Not sure what locality this would be. We'll learn that in the future when we start going on expeditions again. Oh, hear that? Beautiful snake. All right, let me get a lid. We're gonna secure this guy. And we're gonna clean that enclosure. You got some new mulch. Hello, my green baby. You coming for a kiss? All right, my beautiful people, we're gonna put back this Chinese sharp nose fiber. I'm just gonna pop this can open. There we go. Always best to go near the first third, in between the middle and first third. Look at that snake. Very opaque looking right now. But still, ooh, but still can easily target. You see how he's just wiggling his tail? Ooh, 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 he's letting me know he wants to strike. So he's puffing his neck right now. Ooh, he's hissing at me. Ooh, ooh, he wants to bite this phone. I gotta be careful. Let's put him back. There we go. He's so pretty when he comes out of shed. Right now he's very opaque and he still looks gorgeous. Oh, a little wiggle. All right, we'll close that up. Get a lock on it. There we go. Before we do the South Americans, I really want to clean you, dude. You deserve a nice cleaning. Huh? Look at you, you beautiful boy. Here we go. Let's get that glass popped open. He's already getting a little defensive. I'm gonna go nice and smooth with him. Look at that beautiful rattlesnake. Ooh, look at you. You gotta love rattlesnakes. They are so cool. Look at that, beautiful colorations on this animal. I mean, look at the gold on that black. This is an Arizona black rattlesnake. That's a young one that can get a bit bigger. It's probably around like five foot would be max. Look at that. Gorgeous golds. All right, I'm gonna get this enclosure nice and clean and I'll see you guys in a split. All right, beautiful people. We have got the enclosure clean. The glass is sparkly and I can see through it like it's not even there. Ooh, I just kind of smushed that up a little bit. But fresh water, fresh mulch, looking good. Let's get this rattler. Oh, didn't mean to go here. Let's get this beautiful rattler back into its enclosure. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Look at that beautiful animal. It's like, ooh. So cool, look at that. Oops. Oh, gorgeous rattlesnake. You gotta love rattlers. All right, let's get this closed up. It's nice and secure. Let's make it this right here, secure. All right, my beautiful, lovely. Fantastic rattlesnakes and uh, and whoever's watching this video right now Look at this beautiful male. I'm about to pull out and put back in his enclosure It's got a nice clean spot to go back to Look at him. Oh, you are so Handsome. Oh, let's get you in there Nice and easy Look at him one single stripe going down his whole back to the tip of his tail and then from the same batch of babies, from the same parents, we have this beautiful South American rattlesnake, Crotalus dorsus. There are a bunch of different South American rattlesnakes. And uh, this one actually has diamonds and the stripe. So that's really, really cool. I'm gonna get you right in there, come on. There we go, right onto his head. Plop. Come on, let's get you in there. Come on, ooh, ooh, no retaliation, we don't like that, come on. 
Ooh, see you later, Buzz Butt. Beautiful South American rattlesnakes. And they're locked and secured. All right, guys, we're going to be putting back the green anacondas. This is my big female. She's bigger than her sibling. She's going through shed right now because she's got so much food in her. Look at her. She's growing like a little weed. We're going to put her right into the water. There you go. Go do your thing. There we go. Beautiful girl. Even when she goes through shed, she's gorgeous looking. And then this little female, she's a bit snappy today. Watch this. Let's see how she acts when I can reach for her. Usually she's a very friendly snake, but for some reason today, she's very snappy. Ooh, ooh, ooh relax. She's very snappy earlier off camera when I was moving her around. Very strange. I guess this one's just going through puberty. All right, let's put you back. Look, we got some fresh water. Go with your sister. They're so beautiful. Green anaconda is the heaviest snakes on the planet. Getting over 200 pounds. Beasts of a snake. Locked and secure. I will see you tomorrow, sweetie. And I think there's one last thing to do. All right, Bagor, are you ready to fly? Let's go put you on your perch. Come on. Good boy. All right, so I got no food on me right now. So what I do is I just take Bagoy right over this perch at night. There we go. So when I don't fly him over the lake, I have him inside my screened in area, nice and safe at night. Check this out. So Bagoy can fly through the umbrellas. He can fly through these columns. I'm gonna show you it all right now. Watch this. Bagoy, up, up. Good boy. No problems at all. Let him chew some of that up. Take just a little piece of the head. All right, we're gonna put him right up here. We're going up, up. Good boy. Check this out. We're gonna go all the way over here. Don't mind this lawn chair tipped over this way. Barra just likes it this way. Watch Bagoy fly through these columns like it's nothing. Bagoy, up, up. Up, up. Check this out. How cool is that? Dips in and out of the columns like it's nothing. Go ahead. That's all you. You happy? Huh? Yeah. Oh, here, have some more. Ooh, look at that. A whole frozen thawed. Check, look at that. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Was that good? Was that good? Oh, it was delicious. All right, let's reset them. We'll put them back over here. Bagoy, up, up. Peace. Good job, Bagoy. Ooh. Delicious chicken. Mm -mm. All right, beautiful people. I think that's going to be it for tonight. It's one in the morning. I've been cleaning cages all night. Lots of poop to clean, but it's all taken care of, and now I can sleep easy. Now let's just say goodbye with my, with my buddy. Bagoy, come on, up, up. Say goodbye to everyone. Come on, Bagoy. Beautiful boy. All right, beautiful people, stay beautiful, stay safe. Don't forget to check us out on chandlerswildlife.com where you can get your own merchandise and you can help support us by buying merch, stickers, and hoodies. All right, beautiful people, I will see you on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, follow your dreams, stay passionate, and do what you want to do. Because maybe one day, you could be doing something just like this. Ooh, sloppy guts. Bye, guys.